if if I don't wake up from it, then at least I won't be in this much pain anymore. My life, my life, my life, my life in the sunshine. Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. If you are familiar with my channel, welcome if you are new. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of newbies from this video. Um, I'm sorry I'm not super happy and cheery and you know all of that just um like I'm, I'm normally super super cheery and happy um but this this subject is just something that I just can't fake I can't fake being happy um talking about this I'm actually trying my best to hold back tears so, um, I'm going to be smiling through a lot of pain, but, um, just know I'm, I'm not happy at all. So, my name is Ashley, uh, if you all didn't know, and I have HS. I am not knowledgeable enough to say the full name, but, yeah, the name is down here, and... I am trying to share my story just because this disease is not very common or researched or known about, even with doctors and seeking treatment. It's not very um, known on how to seek treatment or, you know, it's just it's, it's not very known. So, the more people that speaks about about it, speaks out about it, the more you know. Hopefully, we can get help with it. Um, so HS is pretty much an autoimmune disease. It's unclassified, but you know, researchers that are no, are knowledgeable about it sees it as auto uh, immune disease. The reason why it's not classified is because, again, it's not that, that it's not much money putting into the research and get and finding things out about it. So it's an un, I am unclassified autoimmune disease as of today, which is July 20th, 2021. And this disease creates a lot of boils. Um, lumps and just infections and things of that sort and areas that sweat so um, these boils lumps um, <coughs> they come they're they're in the, in the most uh, uncomfortable places uh, a lot of people get them in their private areas. Um, I personally get them in my armpits, uh, both armpits. I've gotten them in my private area, but they weren't bad enough for me to know that it was HS. I thought it was just like, you know, ingrown hairs. Um, like, which is very common, but now that I look at it, when I think, now that I think back of when I had them, they were probably HS. Um, I could never find the ingrown hair to remove and, um, they were probably just a mild HS, um, flare up, but the ones I get on my armpits are a lot more extreme um I'm, I'm so sorry guys it's, it's it's very hard to talk about this but um i i would get like a lump under my arm it'd be painful it will either go down or it will either pop and drain itself and I will move on. Um, this 
this time I've gotten one in my left armpit um it started off as painful of course just one lump um it would never go down or drain and um after about a week it filled up my entire armpit with multiple clusters um and it also went up my arm so i really can't raise my arm that good because i'm still going through this but say this is my armpit it filled all this area and it started to go up this arm as well so all of that became extremely painful um extremely painful it was so painful to the point that i could not move my left arm for about a week um I couldn't lift up my arm. I couldn't, I, I was completely immobile in that arm for a week. And that caused this entire area, my shoulder, my arm, my neck, everything that's related to the movement of my arm to become extremely like inflamed and then sore. So I'm dealing with the painful lumps under my arm, but now I'm dealing with my actual, the muscles and my joints and everything um, becoming very painful as well. And so that lasted for about a week until I decided to go to the emergency room. Um, it took me that long to go to the emergency room just because I knew once I went to the emergency room, I, they were going to have to hurt me <laughs> to make it better. Um, and so I just had extreme anxiety of, of going because I, I didn't want, I didn't, lifting, lifting my arm felt impossible. And I knew I was going to have to lift my arm and, um, I wasn't ready to face extreme pain to get better but um i did end up going to the er that first day i i halfway lift my arm up as much as i could cried the entire time was put on all types of pain meds um but it was it wasn't ready to be drained so basically the pulse buildup of my lumps weren't ready to be drained yet. And so they sent me home with antibiotics, with pain meds, and for me to come back two days later. Well, those lovely antibiotics that I was on, I was actually allergic to it. So Let's add on to the list. I have these lumps. I have my shoulder, my arm hurting from being immobile. And now I had a very bad allergic reaction to the antibiotics, which I actually thought I was allergic to the pain meds. And I was at. So I stopped taking the pain meds. So I'm suffering without pain medicine. And. I am increasing my allergic reaction with the antibiotics because I thought that's what was helping me. Um, so with the antibiotics, I had extremely, you can kind of see now, all from all of this was extremely swollen. Um, it was extremely red. It was burning. It was itching. You, it's, it's going away now, but you can really see. I had a little bit on this hand, but it was mostly this hand. It was just extremely inflamed. Um, my throat. Um, sorry, y'all. 
my throat did swell up at one point um this was at night time when the reaction started my throat started to swell up um and any normal person would probably go back to the hospital but at that point i was in so much pain I decided to just go to sleep and I I really wasn't concerned on whether or not I would wake up again because I was just in so much pain so um, please y'all don't do that if you know your throat is closing up due to electric reaction you know go to see the emergency room but I just felt like if if I don't wake up from it, then at least I won't be in this much pain anymore. But um, Jesus. So um, the next day I did wake up. Thank God, I'm grateful now. Um, I think this was the day that I went to the hospital again to, um, get my arms drained. Mm. So the process of getting my arm drained, I had to lift my arm up again, of course. Um, so that was excruciating in itself I had a nurse and a um a nurse practitioner you know they they numbed my arm which I heard is supposed to hurt but I didn't even feel the numbing part I guess I was already in so much pain and they cut they cut one of my lumps the one the one that was only able to be um cut open they had a drain and <laughs> they had to they had to squeeze and squeeze the lumps to try to get them to drain and try to squeeze out all the pus and the fluids and and everything that was built up in my arm and I've never I've never experienced pain like that ever in my life. I really, really felt like <clears throat> I was literally being tortured alive. Like the squeezing, the numbing medicine only uh, prevents you from feeling the cut. Sorry, I'm looking so disgusting, but um, it only it only numbs them cutting, it doesn't numb them squeezing the pus out of your arm. That was definitely the most traumatic thing I ever experienced in my life. I've never screamed and cried and begged or in begged them to stop. I never done that so hard. Like I was screaming to the top of my lungs and crying so hard. <laughs> I never experienced something like that and I never want to again. 
Now, I will say the the nurse and the nurse practitioner that worked on me, even though they tortured the hell out of me, uh, I, I wouldn't have wanted anyone else to do it. They they were awesome. They were truly awesome. Um, you know, he he the practitioner he would you know say if you need a break tell me and i'll be like break right now i need a break right now and he would be so apologetic i'm so sorry i gotta squeeze it out to get it out and you know i'm just i know i know you have to do it <laughs> and the nurse she was awesome she would try to distract me and talk about me with about things in life and and she would hold my hand while he was squeezing. I knew it was bad because as y'all ever seen medical professional professionals get intrigued by something that is very rare or very, you know, disgusting. They were they were very like impressed with how much fluid was in me <laughs> you know i remember hearing the nurse like oh my god oh my god oh my god that's what she was saying and he and the practitioner was like wow oh it's so much oh it's filling up the whole can and i remember her saying oh my god it's green <laughs> they were truly like they weren't enjoying themselves like me being in pain, but they were just so intrigued that this was something that they haven't seen before. Uh, he told me that this was the most um, drainage that he ever seen someone have. Um, so yeah, I was just like, so y'all see why I'm crying, right? You see all this in me, right? Um, but yeah, that, that experience was definitely the most traumatic thing I ever experienced in my life. I'm never going to forget that. I never wanted to experience it again. The sad part is, um, I, I, I couldn't even get fully drained because a lot of my lumps were still so hard that he couldn't squeeze it out. So I actually have to go back today. I have to go back today. See if um the rest of me my arm can get drained. Um the only reason why I'm not having a complete panic attack is because my arm is feeling so much better. At least my shoulder from being immobile. At least that's feeling better. The actual lumps themselves are are aren't as painful as well. And so I'm I'm just praying that um this won't be as traumatic and as painful. Um and this is going to be my third ER visit. I and I'm hoping this will be my final one. Um one more thing to add as well. The acid reflux that I've gotten before from taking pain medicine has been so ridiculous. Well, not even pain medicine, taking all medicines. I've been taking antibiotics, I had to take pain meds, and I have to take um, Benadryl for my allergic reaction. I don't know if it's because I have gastric sleeve um, surgery or because the amount of medicine I was taking, I don't know what it was, but the acid reflux in itself is enough to be like, you know what? <laughs> I just want to call it quits, y'all. I had so much going on. I still have a lot going on. I'm still not done um, with my treatment, but it was so much hitting me at one time. Lumps, shoulder and back pain. Um, allergic reaction, acid reflux. Like, you can only imagine how much sleep I actually got within a week and a half. 
the amount of pain that I was in, the amount of discomfort, discomfort that I was in. I I did sleep slip into a um depression. I might still be in and I might still be depressed. As I said, I'm not living life like this ever again. I'm not doing this ever again. I'm not doing this ever again. Like this is it. If I if someone showed me or told me you have to live this this last two weeks of your life, you have to live this again, or you you're gonna die, I would just Anyway, I'm getting ready to go to my third appointment. I hope they just finish draining me because I just want to be done. Um, if there's something I need to add on to this video after this appointment, well, it's not even an appointment after this visit, I will definitely do that. But um, if there's nothing to add on, thank y'all for watching. This wasn't really informative or anything this is just me coming into terms of me having hs and just sharing my experience um i'm i'm not formally diagnosed because i don't have insurance to see a uh to have a general doctor but i know i have it because my mom has it my sister has it my mom says she she has been dealing with hers for the for 30 years um, she, she's been through what I've been through a few times. Um, I don't know how she did, she did it. Maybe, maybe because she had kids, but to me, this is my last time dealing with this. So, um, uh, I'm going to do everything I can to prevent this from happening again, starting with the AIP diet. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going through this again. But anyway, let me go ahead and go to my third visit and, um, see y'all.